In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of Christ our Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Louis Bertrand, who was a novice master in Colombia, born in Spain, a preacher general, a man of many different talents and many different parts, and also a patron saint of Dominican novice masters and novice mistresses. So uh, pray for Father Anthony Rosevere, our novice master in San Francisco, and for our novices. Tell among the nations the glory of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And his wonders among all the peoples, Christ have mercy. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who poured the fear of your name into the heart of St. Louis Bertrand, set our hearts ablaze with such divine fire that we may serve you faithfully in love as well as in fear. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham, a scripture which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law, and that no one is justified before God by the law is clear, for the one who is righteous by faith will live. But the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us from the curse of the law, by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord. The Lord. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am li li lifted up from the earth, I will draw all things to myself, says the Lord. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test Jesus asked him again for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and a house will fall against itself. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? If you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons, if I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when stronger one than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and redistributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid deserts, searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning it, it, ref it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who come in and dwell there. And the last condition of the person is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. The uh, first prayer of the Mass today asks the Lord to give us the same fear of the Lord as Louis Bertrand had. And we, we've got to remember that fear of the Lord is, is not servile fear. We're not afraid of God because he's going to punish us. That doesn't make any sense. God is Abba. God is his father who loves us and is pleased with the sight of us. God's heart melts when our hearts go out to him. He loves to hear us pray. He loves our every prayer. Everything we do that's good is a gift from him. We wouldn't be able to do any good at all if it weren't that the father was loving us into doing the good. And we don't fear God out of neurosis because we had a grandmother who was very neurotic and and made us feel guilty, or because we had parents that were guilt mongers, or because we had a sister that taught us in the second grade to fear and tremble before God, and we thought we meant be terrorized. Never, I don't think you'll find it in scripture, be terrorized as I am terrorized. Jesus was not terrorized by God. He called him Abba, Father, Papa, Daddy. So, it's good for us today to think about that, that kind of crazy side of ourselves, that kind of neurotic religious side of ourselves that is seeking endlessly to please God on our own basis. We can't even please God by our own efforts. If we please God, it's because of a grace he's given us, a gift he's given us. So it's important that we, we chase out those cobwebs, those, those neurotic parts of ourselves that seek to control other people, seek to control ourselves, and don't really accomplish much of any, any good. Think about the saints, how often they, they were able to do great things for God with very little. What was the great phrase of Teresa of Avila? Teresa and five pennies can't do much, but Teresa, God and five pennies can do anything. Let's be confident in the Father's love and let's act accordingly without fear. In peace we pray to the Lord. The Lord be our prayer. Pray for the needs of the church in Latin America. On this feast of a missionary, we pray to the Lord. The Lord. 
who are novices in San Francisco, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Father Anthony, our novice master, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray for uh, the ability to express the word of God well as preachers, we pray to the Lord. And let us ask the Father to give us all good things in love with his Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, for all who lead us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for the intentions of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for a parishioner who has been very generous to us over the years and has been involved in the parish and is celebrating her birthday this day that the Lord would bless her on her birthday we pray to the Lord. Lord help us to love and fear you in the best of all possible ways so that our confidence in your love for us will give us the ability to serve well your people especially your poor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our, to our Almighty Father. Amen. The Lord accepts the sacrifice from our hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the face of your Christ, who handed himself over as a ransom for all, so that through him, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name may be exalted among the nations, and every place a single offering may be presented to your majesty. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Louis Bertrand you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen, him, strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach us by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, that we pray these gifts by sending forth, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly accepted, entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Louis Bertrand, St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let's offer one another the sign of Christ's peace.
on you stay qui tolis peccata mundi miserere nobi on you stay qui tolis peccata miserere nobi on you stay we told this peccata on a novice watcher. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to you in my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present. In the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I, love I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ. 
the body of Christ. Let us pray. May your holy gifts which we have received fill us with life, O Lord, that we who enjoy, rejoice in commemorating Blessed Louis Bertrand may be also profit from his example of apostolic virtue. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that uh, we have benediction at five and exposition of the Blessed Sacrament from one o'clock in the afternoon until five. And then Monday is Columbus Day. The Mass will be at 8 a.m. So it's a regular daily Mass. The Lord be with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth in the fear of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just a reminder as well that tonight and tomorrow night is a concert here, a video concert by our choir. So please come and join us. Tickets are available in the parish office and on our website to hear a wonderful documentary about the choir. Thank you.